and welcome back to my channel. If you could like and subscribe before you continue to watch, that would be great. Oh, there's a ring light behind the camera and you can just see, it's like a glass within a glass. Woo! Oh my God, I feel like I'm on a sci-fi. Anyway, there's nothing I can do about it now because I've done literally the whole video and I ain't going back, but cool. For so today's video, it's a very excited video and I'm even wearing glasses because I've actually done some research. But it's going to be on sports bras, which is a subject that's so close to my heart. I honestly can't tell you how, how important good sports bras are for whatever your sport you're doing. But in particular with triathlon, you've obviously got your swimming, your cycling and your running and then the tri itself. When I was doing the race, I was thinking, oh, what, what sports bra am I going to wear? And I know in a lot of packing lists is like, it says like all these things that you need, so talcum powder, baby oil, sports gels, the cuddly toy. I, but it doesn't, it never, it never says, well it does say like your clothes obviously, but it doesn't say like what sports bra is good. So I know for a lot of girls this isn't actually a major issue because a lot of female athletes don't actually have big boobs. And I'm not saying I do have big boobs, but I definitely do have a chest that requires some form of support. For the purpose of this video, I don't mind sharing deepest and darkest secret. At the minute, I'm like a 30 double D, 30 E. <laughs> I know a lot of girls wear like tri suits and they don't wear any sports bras underneath and that's just a bit difficult for me because it would just, I'd definitely be getting photographed but not for the right reasons, so definitely the wrong reasons. So in training and in races, it's super important to have a good sports bra. I'm gonna split it up into like the swimming, the cycling, the running, and then do the triathlon at the end, which I think is the best for try. If you wanna to skip to that part, like just skip. So swimming, I actually just wear a speedo, some costume. It's not a problem for me whatsoever. But if you are bigger chested and you do find it uncomfortable wearing a normal swim costume, then Bravissimo is a really good shop. I'll link it below and they'll sell things like the Triumph, the Speedo and the Freya that all have kind of support in them. Running. So running is like the most important one. So if you're gonna take anything from this video, take away the running sports for us. I have a few favourites that I've bought, brought with me. Brought with me from down the stairs. I brought them today. I am a huge fan, support of the shock absorbers. I think I've worn them since I was like 15 or 16. Get them in John Lewis, you can now get them on Wiggle. They're just such good sports bras, especially for running. These ones are my favourite. So this one, it's like a, it's kind of padded, but it's not. So it's not got like padded inserts, but it's like, Thicker. This is the Shock Absorber Run Powder Bar, that's what it's actually called. This one is the size 32 double D. So I, even though I'm a 30, 30 double D, like, because they're so tight, the material is so tight on them, it's better to go up. But honestly, if you're getting it from like an online site where you can send it back, just get loads of different sizes because every single bra is different. And you will know that if you're buying normal bras, never mind sports bras, it's exactly the same. So this one at the minute is £49 at John Lewis. <laughs> Rip off. Wiggle and Shock Absorber website, £36. Great investment. You can actually wear this one like just in the summer, just as like a top, it's not like super low or revealing. Second good one is this one, which is a bit like smaller. I would, I'd definitely wear this with the top. It would be a bit small, it would look like you're running a bra. And this one's the Shock Absorber Active Multi Bra. And from Wiggle, it's £25. So both of those ones that I've just showed, they, they do up twice at the back, like that. So like it goes, whoop. Ooh, ooh, keeps you nice and tight. And then this one's a different brand, and this was from Bravissimo, I think. And this is like a frayer one. Um, I'm just gonna do it up. And this one's actually sweaty and wet because I wore it yesterday and I haven't washed it because that's gross. So this one doesn't have a double, it's just a single strap. But again, it's just a really good one. It's called the Freya Epic Sports Bra. I've had this one year to like literally look at clasps. <laughs> It's falling apart. I should actually go and get this. This is only £32. Three are like my favourite run bras. This one probably is my favourite one. The Black Shock I saw the one. Really rate it. I'm 27 now and all of my friends still say like, oh my god, Kate, you've still got great boobs. And honestly, I put it down to having a good sports bra. I mean, just take care of yourself. Like, it's precious. Cycle, not as important for me. You shouldn't really be bouncing around in your saddle. You shouldn't be like, like obviously you might get up out of your saddle, but your work's in your legs, so you're not really moving your upper body that much. There is one brand I love, and it is Gymshark. This is the Gymshark seamless one. I think this is actually a low support. I would probably recommend a medium support one. More like this one, like an extra 
harness at the back. Got loads of Gymshark ones. For my size, I go for a small because I like them quite tight. These are just great. Like they look great with just recycling shorts. And if you're wearing like a jersey and you're out and it's really hot, you can undo your jersey and still wrist. Everyone knows Gymshark. I'm wearing a Gymshark top. And so the price range for these anywhere between like 20, 30 pounds. I've got a few other ones here. So this one is a USA Pro one. Same kind of thingy. TK Maxx is a really good place. Or John Lewis. John Lewis will have sales on at the moment. So John Lewis might be a really good shout for all of these. The shock absorbers or any that are kind of like that crop stock. Crop, crop stock. <laughs> the crop top style. Yeah, they'll be great for those. Calvin Klein one, which is super nice. Medium support one as well. This one was actually from the Lowry Outlet Center. They've got a next there. And in the next, they sell like Speedo, Calvin Klein. Lipsy, loads of different brands and that's from here. I think it was like £10, so bargain. So if you're ever in the area, go there because they have some really good, all my swim costumes are from there as well. All the cycling ones, not massively important, but you don't want to wear like a normal, normal bra because you are still doing sports and you want it to like be good with your sweat. Final, final, final. I researched honestly to within, within an inch of my life for a sports bra for the triathlon event because you're going to have to wear it underneath your tri suit so it's going to get wet. You're going to be on the bike so it needs to kind of dry quite quickly and then you've got the raw so you don't want to like chafe like obviously you can put vaseline all over yourself but you still don't want it i actually bought loads and i tried and tested them by getting wet so i went in the shower in them saw how quickly they dried i actually compared this rum on the padded one this one was really terrible for drying the clasps are kind of like hooks like the hook and if water gets under them poof, you're coming out dun, dun. this one this shock absorber is the best. It's not padded at all. It's like a bra, like with the band and everything, but it was just so good under the tri suit, running and then swimming and cycling in it. It just was really breathable. It didn't rub me anywhere. This one is actually a really weird size. So I'm a 30 double day, 38, and this is actually a 34 double day. So I've no idea what the sizing is on that. I think I bought like five different sizes. I actually got this one from John Lewis at the time. Two days before the race, I was like, oh, we need to go to Manchester, we need to go to the traffic test, we need to go to John Lewis on his sports bra. But yeah, this one was the best size. And it's £32 on Wiggle. It's also £32 on Shock Absorber. It's actually very expensive at John Lewis, coming in at £46. But it is January sales, therefore you might be able to get a good deal. If you have a bit of dodgy size as well, like a 30 or 28, they're normally really good and they're always in the sale. This one is definitely the best. It's, it's tight, it fits tight, hence why it's probably 34 double day, but quick drying was so good for the try I did. I wouldn't really wear anything different. Super right. It's January, so so many people will be getting into the sport, and I see so many girls in the gym, on the treadmill, on the cross trainers, and the stair masters, balls, trampolines, doing whatever you're doing, and you never have good sports bras on. And if you're doing weights and stuff, gym sharp, great, you look great, woo, you've got the top, you've got matching pants. But if you're doing something decent, you're gonna look shit in a few years because your boobs are gonna be around, wrapped around your knees, basically. That's the size, right? Wear one of these crappy bras that you think look shit and just put a top over the top like it's going to protect you so much so if you are getting into sports and stuff just buy one and if, use that as like your cardio one even if you're going out for walks and stuff i actually always wear sports bras it just is so important and it's really not that much money because you would spend that much on a really nice top and you're going to look crap in your really nice top if you've got saggy boobs so, you know, it's just a win-win. So I'll link all of these bras below. If you've got any questions, let me know. I have been through so many sports bras. I've been doing sports since I was like 15. My mum was obsessed with us getting proper bras fitted when we were like 12, 13. So it's always been a big thing for me. It's not like a new thing. And I've rated Shock Absorber the whole way through. This is just a mere selection of what I've got. Please look after yourselves, because it's really important. And obviously do like your weights and stuff. That's what like gets your pecs going. So to trauma research and things a lot of try videos are specific to guys and i mean i'm not being prejudiced if you're a guy and you want to wear a sports bra go for it why not but mainly it is towards the females so if you've got any questions let me know if not i will see you soon